Hello, I'm making this short little video to compare and contrast the new Star Trek phaser that just uh, was released by Playmates Toys uh, from the TOS series to compare this new phaser that just came out to its similar toy that they produced in the 1990s and comparing that, uh, the, this new Playmates phaser to the Diamond Select Art Asylum toy version of the same phaser type uh, that has been around for a number of years, but recently was discontinued here. One nice thing about this new Playmates phaser that just came out is the fact that this new version of the phaser uh, has a multicolor LED. So if you set in a stun mode, it has a red light in the back, but also at the emitter, it fires a very bright red LED. And if you change the mode of the phaser, to a kill or disrupt mode here. It actually has a very nice blue LED on the back and the emitter uh, fires a nice little blue LED light. In the 1990s version of the same toy, the only light that came from the emitter was a yellowish, whitish type of light that was emitted from a small bulb, uh, kind of like a flashlight light bulb uh, that was at the end of the emitter here. Um, one other thing I also noticed about this new version of the phaser from uh, that Playmates just released is that if you compare it to its 1990s version, there are a lot more screw holes than its similar toy in the 1990s. And I think a lot of the reasons why you have additional um, screw holes uh, is because of uh, the additional electronics and an enhanced soundboard uh, compared to its similar toy in the 1990s. One other thing that I noticed, if you compare it to its similar toy in the 1990s, is the power grip or the grip of the phaser. The grip of the phaser um, is a lot more screen accurate, particularly if you compare it to the grip from the Art Asylum version of the same toy here. You notice it has the ridges uh, in the power grip. Another difference is that the, in the new version of this phaser, um, the battery cover actually has its own screw. Whereas in the 1990s version of the toy, the, um, the battery cover could easily slide off here. But in this new version, it actually has its own dedicated screw. So one thing that I like about this new phaser and in general about the Playmates version of the TOS phaser is that because it's one unit and the phaser one, the phaser two doesn't separate, because it's one unit, if you put Velcro here and you put it to your belt or to your hip, um, it generally holds together. And I think it's a much more sturdier um, toy or prop to use for a cosplay because it's one solid unit and it generally holds together and it's pretty sturdy and robust as compared to the Diamond Select version of the toy um, because in the Diamond Select version the toy, the Phaser 1 actually separates from the Phaser 2. And while that is more screen accurate, if you put um, Velcro here and, uh, on the Phaser 1 and then you attach it to your belt or to your uh, uh, pants, sometimes if you pull up, you know, separate it, sometimes the Phaser 1 gets separated or it gets misaligned with the Phaser 2. So one thing I do like about this Playmates Phaser, I've always liked about the Playmates Phaser, it's one solid unit, and I think it's a little more sturdier for, for cosplay purposes. Additionally, one thing, I, one thing I also like about the Playmates Phaser is that it, it takes AA batteries, whereas the Diamond Select Toys takes the button batteries that generally don't last as long and are a little bit uh, more harder to find and purchase the batteries for, whereas the, the AAA or AA batteries are much more easier to, to acquire and, and put back into the phaser here. In terms of size-wise, if you compare this to the Diamond Select toys, they're very, very comparable here. The, the Art Asylum toy is just a little longer, a little longer, particularly at the tip area, than the... Um, Playmates version toy. But other than that, in terms of overall length, they're very, very close to one another here. 
And then even if you compare just the grips, while the grip for the Art Asylum toy is a lot more thinner, um, again, more screen accurate, which we recognize, uh, but if you compare it to the this new Playmates uh, phaser from 2022 here, the overall length is very, very close here. And then uh, um, understood that the trigger is a little bit different uh, from the Art Asylum version of the toy to this Playmates 2022 version toy. Uh, the, the trigger is a little bit longer here, but, but again, still pretty easy to fire the phaser here. And I would also mention that this new version of the toy, the trigger is a lot longer than the version of the toy that came out in the 1990s here. But overall, uh, I think this new version of the Playmates phaser, a lot more screen accurate, particularly in the grips, particularly in the grips. I like the fact that it has a multicolor uh, emitter, unlike the Art Asylum emitter, which only fired a red light. And then the Playmates version of the same toy that only had a, a white or yellowish light here. This new Playmates phase with the multicolor LED is great. It's still pretty solid here. And then also in this new version of Playmates, it actually has a nice little on off switch here as well. well hopefully the, this um, encourages you to perhaps you know, purchase this toy if you see it at your local Target store or you could purchase it on Amazon. Um, even though this toy supposedly is being sold in Target stores nationwide, I haven't seen any in my local area, but I've heard that uh, this toy is now available in Target stores in Colorado, parts of Florida, and also Northern California. Anyways, I uh, hope this helps and encourages you to purchase or consider this toy for your cosplay needs, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks.